Alright, so want to let you in on the next thing that we're going to deal with, which is not really a little secret, but it's kind of secret, but kind of not, because you're going to see this over and over again in here, in word problems, and on the final exam, in word problems. So the next thing is the law of cosines. And with the law of cosines, these are the, the two ways or the two times you're going to see it. So it either is going to be dealing with, they give you all three sides of the triangle. Again, not a right triangle, but just a regular triangle. They'll either give you all three sides or they'll give you two sides and an angle and none of the letters match up. Remember with sine, we had it where there was a side and an angle that matched and then they give you another side. Now here, this time, they're still going to give you two sides and an angle, but for this one, none of the angles or sides, letters match up. So it's not going to be A, A, and a B. A is angle A and the angle side A and the angle B or some of that sort. It's going to be an angle A and then a side B and a side C or an angle C, a side B and a side A. So none of the letters are going to match up in other words. So that's when you do the law of cosines. So either again, three sides, they give you just the three sides itself or they give you two angles and a side, two sides and an angle and none of the letters match up. All right, so when that happens, we use these these here. These are the law of cosines. So there's three different ones you can choose from, and it all depends on what they give you. So if you're looking for side A, but they gave you side B and C and angle A, that means you're going to use this first one right here because that's side B, side C, and angle A there. So if they gave that to you, then that means you can find side A. Then you can go somewhere else. But they gave you A and C and then angle B, then use this one. If they give you angle a side A, side B, and angle C, you will use this last one. So it all depends on what they give you, depends on which one of those three you're going you're gonna to use. You're not going to use all three of them. You're only going to use one of them. But you have to look at what they give you and then go from there, figure out which one of those three you're going to deal with. All right, so on the next video, we're going to go ahead into an example where we actually are applying these. And when it comes to law of cosine, a lot of times we start, we use the law of cosine once, and then we use the law of sine to finish everything up. So law of sine is going to come back into play again, also in there. So if you need.